discussing the halachot of Kiryat Shema at night. So here's one of the things that are part of Kiryat Shema, which is Berkat HaMapil B'Shemu Malchut. So he says, this is again the opinion of the halacha Berura, it's not everyone's opinion. So he says, HaNikhnas Lishon Amitato Balayla, one who goes to sleep at night on his bed, very clear, we have to make sure that it's only at night, and it's only if you're going to sleep as Shinat Keva, you're going to sleep on a bed. Sarich Levarech B'Shem Umalchut. One has to make a Beracha B'Shem Umalchut, Berkat Hamapil. The Ashkenazim, the Ashkenazim have their own uh, custom of what they say. They have a little bit different Nusach than us. So each one goes according to their custom. Whatever their customs are, they'll follow with their uh, Minhagim. So he says, just be careful when saying Berkat HaMapil, there are a few laws. Number one, it has to be Sarikh Liyot Samuch Lashina, which means that a person should not say Berkat HaMapil and Kiryat Shema and then go do whatever he has to do afterwards. He has to go take a drink, he's got to eat something, he's got to go to the bathroom. Anything else that he has to do really should be done first. And then after that, Say Berkat HaMapil. Really, there should be no half sec whatsoever from Berkat HaMapil to the sleep that you're going to have afterwards. However, if a person cannot, for example, let's say an honest guy, he had planned to go to sleep after, but then he had to go to the bathroom. Or then he had to take a drink. In such a case, we're going to soon see it's not a problem. It's not Berachal Batala. It's okay. It is considered within norm that sometimes you might have to make a half sec. But again, in general, one should try to avoid any kind of Efsakim from again, from the time you say Birkat to when a person goes to sleep.